So what, what are Google Apps? Um, this is an ecosystem of business um, productivity tools. Okay. What it is in simple terms is, is your email, it's your calendar, it's your communication with the other users on the system, um, and it's your documents all in one place. Okay. Three key things for, to make any software successful, right? Any software needs to be simple. Once you get into complexities, you lose yourself in the impl in never ending implementation cycles, okay? Um, it has to be affordable, otherwise you, you don't have enough money to pay for it, and it has to save you time and money. Otherwise you can just hire somebody to do the work. So that's, I think Google Apps is, is really kind of what they are for, in terms of those three things. Uh, simplicity, let's talk about that. So no hardware or software to install. Okay, so just google.com, put in your name there. Minimal administration. So as you scale, your server must, your server must take care of your business in many ways. And it sits in a closet there, right? And it works quietly. It does your calendars, it does your email, it does your documents and other things. But the server needs maintenance as well. Well, with Google, you take that concept and you put it on the web. So Google servers now do all the work while you just take advantage of, of the user interface and features. So minimal administration, easy to use and learn. Why? Let me show you. Welcome to Google Apps. Google Apps brings together essential services to help your business, school, group, or family communicate and collaborate more effectively. These services are powerful. So you want to learn about a calendar or Google Docs. Say you want to learn about Google Docs. You click on the Google, Google Docs. Google Docs is a web-based word processing and spreadsheet program that makes collaboration more efficient. It lets you keep a document online that others in your organization... Pretty awesome learning center, which you can quickly um, pass to your folks, your employees, so they can get a quick idea of what, you know, how it works and what what it does in all one place. All right. So the training is there. The YouTube videos are there to train you how to use it. Now, so, so that's simple access to the training. Now, let's talk about affordability. In your companies, can you raise your hand if you have less than 10 users accessing the email system or that need access? One, two, three, okay, we got some. The rest is probably more. So for those of you folks that need less than 10 users, you're in luck because it's free. Um, so how is it going to save you time and money? Well, you, it's easy to use. Your employees learn it quickly. You can access it from anywhere. Collaborate on documents, and especially, really, really cool thing is you can collaborate on calendars. Right? You can see each other's calendars, so you can, um, if there's a question about availability of your colleague, it, it's a, a, a one-button click to find out if they have a, a, a slot booked or not. You can use video chat in while doing inspections or something like that. You can use your iPad to do a little video chat with your home office and say, look, we got this carpet issue here. Do you think we should send out you know, the smoke busters to take a look at it? Or a handyman would be able to do it. Anyway, I don't know how it works, but that would be an awesome feature for you. One thing that people don't think about as much, and I do a lot, is if I lose this laptop, okay, there's a lot of data here that would be pretty important for my company. But however, if I lose it, I don't care. Well, really, it's, it's an asset that we lost, uh, but it's insured. Thing is, I'm using Salesforce, I'm using Gmail. None of the data lives in my laptop that is critical to my company. So something for you to think about in terms of your employee forgetting something, you, you deal with social security, you deal with a lot of personal information for your owners and vendors and tenants that never lives, uh, it doesn't live on your computer. So if you do lose that piece of equipment, it's okay. It's okay. It's very it, it's quick to recover, right? Just use another computer to log in. Um, and also, of course, you got power of Google behind you. They're kind of a known company. 